It's May 24th, 2015. My girlfriend, Erica Winter, is turning 25 today. How am I celebrating? I'm reviewing one of her favorite video games on Sega Genesis, which is based on one of her favorite movies of all time, Disney's Toy Story. It's a classic film that has aged remarkably well, unlike the little monsters and follow that bird. Wait, that was my childhood. Uh, released in 96, Toy Story was developed by Traveler's Tales and published by Disney Interactive. While Toy Story found its way onto several platforms, such as the Super Nintendo, Game Boy, and PC, the Genesis version is arguably the best of the bunch. You may think that statement is pure bias, but I'll explain later. Obviously, it's a side-scroller. For the most part, there are 18 stages in all, two in which you control RC from an overhead perspective, as well as a third-person driving stage affectionately titled Daytona. Huh, what does that remind you of? Oh, but that's not all. There's even a first-person stage within the claw machine where Woody has to return a bunch of lost alien squeaky toys to their collective. Yeah, that's how I felt. The plot mirrors the movie with one or two glaring exceptions. My absolute favorite is where Woody has a nightmare and must vanquish Nightmare Buzz. That's original. Traveler's Tales didn't reinvent the wheel here, but they certainly made it entertaining. The core gameplay is comprised of platforming stages where Woody must use his pull string to whip wayward toys into submission, clear a path, and swing from one place to the next. This isn't run and gun, though. Instead, you have simple objectives like getting the toys back in their places, or helping Rex run away from angry toys, or sneaking into Pizza Planet while avoiding detection. These simple goals actually kept me engaged, giving me little opportunity to run on autopilot. I've read that most gamers find this game far too difficult. Admittedly, the learning curve is a little steep. It's classic trial and error gameplay, yes, but if you've played games like Contra Hardcore or The Adventures of Batman and Robin, this is nothing. That being said, you'll be missing Andy's room when you enter the claw machine. Not much in the way of enemies, though you're forced to cope with timed jumps, twirling fans, capacitors that explode when you approach, and falling coins. That's nothing when compared to Sid's room. Believe me when I say, this level is a nightmare. Aside from Sid's vast assortment of mutant toys, you have to avoid these darts that offer little to no warning before falling, soda cans, and these ridiculous fireworks. Even better, there's a stage where you ride Roller Bob in a desperate attempt to get away from Scud, all while dodging bottle rockets, firecrackers, more soda cans, and... I swear, these levels are responsible for more fits of adolescent rage than Capri Sun. This is far from impossible, but it can be incredibly frustrating. It's hard to stay mad, though, when the game looks this amazing. Traveler's Tales really knew how to milk the Genesis, as demonstrated with games like Sonic 3D Blast. I know, as often as I mention that game and its attributes, you'd think a proper review were in order. Toy Story uses fluid pre-rendered 3D graphics, much like Donkey Kong Country on Super Nintendo. The backgrounds will shift in accordance with the perspective, creating the illusion of three-dimensional depth. The Daytona stage is impressive when you take the time and hardware into consideration. Animation is smooth and consistent, not that it has much going on. It's not like the movie where Woody has to dodge oncoming traffic or whatever. Instead, I collect batteries really inside the claw machine is mind-blowing. It's not like we hadn't seen first-person perspectives on Genesis before, <clears throat> but this is one of the few examples where it's actually done really, really well. The soundtrack is just as good as the visuals. Randy Newman's You've Got a Friend in Me is present, of course, though the original music is awesome. Toy Story's digitized speech is rather remarkable. It's one of the best, if not the best, I've ever heard on Genesis. Traveler's Tales, I salute you. 
Now why is this version better than the Super Nintendo or PC? It's the only version that has all 18 stages. Super Nintendo doesn't have Daytona and the PC version omitted really inside the claw machine. You know, that first person stage? Toy Story the video game is a timeless classic, much like the film it's based on. It's also a dazzling showpiece for the Genesis that's easily accessible and fairly priced. If you can find it, I highly recommend it. Now, an embarrassing picture of my girlfriend. Happy birthday.